Hi there. Today's walk is a little bit closer to home. I'm standing on the shores of Tuckra Lakes and today's walk will take me from Saltwater Creek to the entrance and back. Return journey for only about 10 kilometres and I'm allowing about two and a half to three hours to complete. If you've plenty to see along the way, let's go have a look, let's go for a walk and talk. Today's walk starts at the southern end of Tuckra Lakes near Kalani Vale. As we look northward across the lake, we can see two Glen Gorakin at the other end. Soon after the start of our walk, we're going over the footbridge that crosses over the Saltwater Creek and we go from Kalani Vale into Long Jetty. We come across a large car park with an adjacent picnic and barbecue area. There are also area for the kids to play. Here's a boat ramp for the fishermen. Looks like the pelicans have seat in the higher ground to keep their feet dry. Perry's Jetty is the shortest of the three jetties and was constructed back in 1931. There are many picnic and barbecue facilities all along the foreshore. Small footbridges like this one cross the many streams and creeks and runoff that empties into Tugra Lake. There is a small boathouse near the second jetty that's popular with many of the local photographers, me included. Watkins Jetty was constructed in the 1920s and is the second longest of the three jetties. Let's go for a quick walk out to the end. It's a pretty good view from out here, isn't it? It's not unusual to see people fishing off these jetties or just going for a leisurely stroll and getting some fresh air. The council provided facilities around the third jetty. A place to sit in the sun and just Relax for a while. Long Jetty is the longest of the three jetties and was the first one constructed back in 1915. It goes for about 350 metres into the lake and it's just some of the deeper sections of the lake. It looks like a very long way back to the shore from here. Here's the black swan, one of the many bird species that make their home in Tugger Lakes. The pathway that goes all along the foreshore is used by walkers, joggers, bike riders and people walking their dogs. Here's an area that's been set aside for those who are a little bit more physically active. The pelicans here are pretty tame. They're not terribly concerned about me walking past and invading their space. Picnic Point is popular with both tourists and locals. It's a great spot. It's all the amenities you need for a barbecue or picnic by the lake. There is also a boat ramp to launch your boat. Many of the fishermen like to try their luck out near Pelican Island. Here's the old bait and tackle shop that's been here since before I was a teen. That was a long time ago. 
when we first came up here, there used to be an old readily wooden bridge that used to cross the lake. Here's another good vantage point to have a look at this section of the lake and see where it empties into the sea. I've timed my walk to Kellen's side with the daily pelican feed. It's on at 3.30 every day, 365 days a year. It's popular with kids of all ages. It's a full house every day. Like a popular restaurant, you have to wait your turn sometimes. After having something to eat, it's out to the sandbar to have a bit of a bask in the sun and to digest a little. I think today's walk was a good walk. As the sun slides into the horizon behind Tupper Bridge, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.